how do we fix the Helga Strand problem? And it's not just a Helga Strand problem. It is a dressage problem. But how do we fix it? Now, I've been following this for a long time, and you guys have been watching me follow it for a long time. So here's my hot takes on how we should fix it, because people have offered up a lot of different solutions, but they need to be a little more granular. Like your dressage says, the judges need to be fixed. Well, how do you fix the judges when the judges are equally as corrupt and being bribed on the, the flip side? So let's talk about it. Let's get into it. First, let's start by live streaming the warm up. They have for a long time been trying to eliminate the media from the warm up. Let's live stream the warm up. You want to prove that you are a rider that is credible, accountable, and not doing these things? Prove it. Next up, bring back live scoring. And now there was a move towards more transparency in the sport, and live scoring became a thing. You could see it on the screen. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it's been phased out in the last couple of years. I would say probably almost two years that they've been phasing it out. So you can't see the live scoring, which means the scores can be adjusted on the back end. Next up, let's lock down the judging so that only judges, let's give limitations to judging. So if there's a season of 12 weeks in Wellington, let's say 10 or nine of them are horse shows, that maybe a judge can judge one of those like once. I don't even think they should be allowed to judge it twice. Let's just say once and then they have to go. There's so much schmoozing that happens in the VIP tent and there's just too much access for riders to judges. And that's where you see the judging bias coming. And finally, to my last point, judging bias and how we're going to eliminate it. We're actually going to use AI to start running the data through the AI and finding anomalies or trends within the judges. So if there's a judge who consistently scores this person higher or makes mistakes um, consistently, I've seen judges like Christoph Ambach throw in a casual four just to ruin someone's chances at the Olympics. So I think that if we use AI to um, analyze some of that data and have a board that is chosen outside, new board every year, and a board that's chosen outside the equestrian industry, like some sort of data analyst, a team of that, that can take a look at that and say, hey, here's the trends that we're noticing within the data. Because I know I see the trends within the data and I try to talk to you guys about them. But I think having someone actually identify those trends, use AI to identify those trends and really showcase what the data is showing. Uh, I think we'll hold the judges accountable because right now the judges have zero accountability to anybody. 